Hello and welcome to the Mothership. I'm the Commander Lax Sivrak and we are here. Thank you for joining us. I thought we would just uh, do a little candid... Do I wanna... Just do a little candid review <coughs> of this right here in this box. Uh, sent to me by our good friend Dylan V, the Professor of Badass. Y'all may recall that this was sent... Oh shit, probably six or eight months ago. I'll show it to you in a minute. I know you can't see it yet. But we're going to open this pig and just check it out. There's only maybe a couple reviews on here. There are two There are two figures in here. I'm sure we only have to do re review one. But we're going to take a look at that uh, just for the halibut. Um, before we do that, shout out to Collecting with Cool. Why? Why not? I don't know. Why not? Also, uh... This is my only McFarlane figure, which if y'all recall when I opened it, it was already broken. Everybody talks shit about NECA, and uh, my NECAs are bomb proof, but the one McFarlane figure I had broke when I fucking looked at it. But look, this is what I wanted to, uh, I've been slowly, this is the, I can't remember this fucking guy's name from the Mortal Kombat, but I've been stripping off all his dumbass bullshit, you know? He had a vest on, which would have been cool, except it was this blue color. So we're stripping off all that. We got that weird headdress off. And then this is the hair from the alternative head from that He-Man Revelations figure. And we're going to do something like that. That's not too bad. There's, I still got to cut out a little bit of the inside. But I thought I'd show that off. Let's see. When you get it on there just right, it, it don't look too shabby. Huh? Look at that fucking, look at that hardcore fucking Nate, huh? You fucking, you betcha, goddammer. Anyway, this episode's also brought to you by the American Indian Movement. Also, also brought to you by, I don't think we explained what it was brought to you by. So let's back up a little bit. As always, brought to you by this fresh cup of black coffee. Right here. And as you'll notice... Look, you want to piss Lack off? Wash his coffee cup. Don't wash that motherfucker. Don't you put no goddamn soap in that motherfucker. Don't you put it in the dishwasher, you son of bitches. Don't do it. Don't do it. Everybody wonder why your fucking coffee tastes like shit? It's because you goddamn fucking clean your cup, goddammit. This, this, look, this motherfucker got a little oil on it today, boys. I don't, you can't see it. Can you see it? It's a little, man, looks like a fucking, looks like fucking goddamn... Exxon Valdez oil spill in that son of a bitch. It's good. Uh-uh. Anyway, we're just, uh, we are live and unplugged. Also brought to you by Copenhagen Snuff. Let's have a dip. This is the first one of the day. I've been up for a little while, but I've been taking care of some bullshit. Bullshit. But it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. The world is a fucking dream, and it, you know, fucking self-realization of what the fuck you want. What's that called? You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Thank you to everybody in the community who's been sticking around. I think we're having a good time. You know, if we're if you're not having a good time, don't let the fucking door hit you in the ass on the way out, motherfuckers. So, uh, let's see. I wanted to, uh, this, that, and the other. I did want to show y'all, uh, that how that hair goes on that face pretty good. I showed you that. And I, this, I think it's all right. It's got a little work left to it, and then we have to make a vest. We gotta do a lot of shit to that, that figure. This figure really is only, you know, it's really only the face that makes this fucking figure worth a fuck. You know, I don't know. If I could go back in time, I wouldn't have bought that figure. You know, not just because it broke, but like all the shit. I thought I was going to customize it real easy. And then like the fucking vest has like fucking, you know, things on it that peg in like that. And you can't, I couldn't pull them out, you know. And I figured, well, if I pull them out anyway, then I'd have to fill it. So you might, so I just cut it off, you know. Uh, but dude, Everybody likes NECA and they or they don't like NECA and they're all about McFarlane or whatever. And like I'm the opposite, man. I'm the opposite. I think that shit ain't worth a fuck. At least the one I got ain't worth a fuck. You know? Whatever. Y'all want to uh 
Y'all want to check this out? I I, I want to check it out. So Dylan sent me this for these bikes. These bikes are going to get painted up. And they're going to be part of the Toklat Mercenary Group uh, Scout Squad. I'll give you a... For those of you who are actually just like toy reviewers and toy whatevers, there's the back of the box, there's the side of the box, there's the face of the box, whatever the fuck. Anyway. The only thing I can admit, I only have one other. I'm trying to get some fucking clone figures. I would prefer, I would prefer some, I would prefer the, uh, some Black Series clones. This is the only other clone I have at the moment. And you can see he's like hanging from the ladder like 66 Batman. But these are some spindly, and the, these ones inside this box look like they're the same figure as this one, but spindly. Spindly little spindly, you know? Which I'm, everybody's okay with that. Nobody likes these figures because they're fucking... But these are fine, even though they look like fucking twigs. Growing up, I saw nothing wrong with these figures. But that's me. You know what I'm saying? I said, fuck, these figures look just like me. What's wrong with them? Nothing's wrong with them. Not a fucking thing. So is there anything else? I don't know what year this is. What year is this? 2008? Again, I'll show you the back of the box for the sense of... This. I've never seen th these anywhere, but these look fucking cool. Don't they? These look cool. As like an original trilogy Star Wars fan, those look fucking cool. So, um... I'm just looking here. Speeder Bike Recon. Cool. Thank you, Dylan. We will obviously be returning to our customs here before long. And that's what these are for. We'll get a little closer look at them. If you can. I'll, uh... Ooh. Ooh, let's look at this, shall we? You want to? So, um, it looks like they both come with missiles to shoot... Right here, out of, out of what I assume is the front. We'll get to that. I don't feel the need to open both of these as they are obviously identical. I also, so we'll just make a couple cuts here and we're gonna get one of these speeders out. Oh. So this, let's see, okay, there's another, couple cuts, couple cuts. That's an old machinist phrase. They say, hey, you ready to go? And he say, no, no, I need a couple cuts. Couple cuts, couple cuts. Couple cuts, that's what we used to say. No, 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 a couple more cuts, couple cuts. This one, this one thing just broke. It didn't even, I just broke, not, I mean, I didn't, but I just saw it fall off. Well, maybe we'll go back in the video, see if you can't see it. I don't think you can. Okay. Okay, so we got one, so we get a clone. He has his little, weird little fucking, um, let me get this part out that broke. So you get a clone. He has his weird fucking uh, spear gun fucking pistol in his hand there. You can see that. But look at this piece that just fucking broke off.
Mm -hmm. I mean, it broke too. You can see the peg broke. Hmm. Strange. Ain't nothing a little super glue can't fix, obviously, but strange though. I mean, it. I didn't have no pressure on it. It literally looked like it. It just fell. So maybe it. But I'll be damned. Yeah, these are. This is a. Weird, weird little thing. Okay, it has uh, retractable feet there. It has, uh, let me see, it's got a lot of this rotten, rotten uh, bands on it. And one of them looks to be glued to the figure not glued from the factory but like you know how the you know how the little plastic thing melts or something it didn't melt in here this is uh, climate controlled I have a pretty heavy duty you can see that white cord right there a pretty heavy duty uh, air conditioner right there that's for that's rated for about four times the fucking cubic fucking feet of this room, so you could fucking hang meat up in this motherfucker. No problem. Let me try to get this other band off here. This is just a casual thing. Y'all want to hang out with Lac? Come hang out. We'll look at this figure. Uh, incidentally, if anybody wants to get me a spittoon for Christmas... We'll look at this figure compared to this one that I got from Hey Kelly Auctions. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, these are definitely like this. This is just the same figure. I'm sure this is <clears throat> both came from the same. Yeah, 2008. So this is the one I had on that ladder. And then this is the new one that just come off that bike. So we got three. We got three clones now, which is kind of cool. I've been envisioning for quite a while. Let me give you a quick look at him. Just your standard 2008 Spindly clone. Nothing too, nothing too exact, uh, you know, exaggerated. Did I tell you I need a spittoon for Christmas? No, I really don't. But it would be cool. So yeah, there it is, Dylan. This is pretty cool, pretty cool Star Wars motorcycle, huh? Pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Now there is in the box. There appears to be a missile right there, and there's I don't know what that is. Maybe we should look. Maybe we should look. Where? Would the missile go? Hmm. Should we maybe back of the box? Maybe there's some information on the box. Uh, uh. I got a little cowlick right there that don't ever want to fucking do. Uh, no, this is all just like graphics, like from the thing. So there's nothing in there. I don't know what those are. Let's see. Let's open this just to have an idea. When I was a kid, I, I did always think these were fucking cool. I always liked the little pack of shit that came in the thing, you know? Oh, yeah. Wow, I dig this. So I'll show you this side first. I remember seeing those. And there's some of those... Uh, the Galaxy Heroes, which is now called something else, right? Darth Wizzy Wiz, or I mean, I just watched the Darth Wizzy Wiz video, sorry. But then right after that, shout out to you, Wizzy Wiz. I'm really enjoying the fucking, all the the same figure over the years like you're doing. That's great. But right after that, I watched um, Chris at Thousands Ghosts, and he had those, um, not Micro Galaxy Squadron, because that's the cool ones. The other ones made for the kids, but they're just like that. Not quite like that, but the same idea. Let's see, we got some cool 
statue type things. We have some, is that a, like a transformer? Huh, I didn't even know they made that. Of course in 2008, I was living in the middle of the wilderness. So what did I know? But I never knew that, look at this. That's a cool fucking ship, by the way. But look, I guess these are transformers. Anybody have those? That looks cool. Here's probably one of the first helmets that wasn't rubber. I don't know what it's made out of. But let's now look at this, though. I have to show you the other side because the other side has got some fucking... Look at this. Battle Damage Vader is very cool. Very cool. This is one of only one Kenobi's favorites right here. Yoda on that thing. He has a lot of favorites, though. Don't we all? fucking tank that would be cool to cut you know i'm in it i'm in it for i'm in it for almost any vehicle uh because i want to customize them uh that's why brent brett i don't know why i said brent at collecting with cool that's why he sent me this to do some customization and uh also the uh, falcon which i got over there i have the interior painted but i'm I just need to get moneyed up, you know, because supplies, you know how supplies are. Look at this, though. This, I think, was a cool mother... Look at this. I do kind of remember seeing this somewhere, because I, I was like, why is Dingar all blue? But cool two-pack there with uh, whoever that Finn Shia. I don't know. Maybe I didn't read that comic. But that looks like a cool set there. Yeah, pretty neat. Oh. oh, pretty neat, pretty neat. We used to sneak up on motherfuckers and throw shit on the roof of their, on the outhouse when they were shitting. So they'd go, oh, you know, because when you're in a little box, it scares you, it scares you. I still can't figure out, I'm gonna pull out one of these, uh, so look what we got up here in this box, okay? So we have the speeder, and we have these two obvious missiles because they have the little locking pieces right here. And then these, which I guess maybe are backpacks for the guys? I don't know. Let me see. They can't be, you know. They got to be like a, a booster thing, right? This is like some sort of engine piece maybe. So let's look at the... Let's look at this one more time. I, you know, so you'd think if there was a missile, it would shoot out the front. There's no hole there. And, oh, wait, okay, so here is a, that sure looks like that would be a spring-loaded thing there. But there's no... Y'all drop in the comments. I'm going to stand here and look at this for just a second. But, you know, that definitely, you know, I can feel that, that if that had a fucking spring tension on it, it would let probably let it go. I don't see a fucking hole. You think it could be there? It could be there. But I see nothing. Where do those go? What the fuck are those and where do they go? We do have some landing gear, which uh, don't want to come out very easy. There you go. One retracts, which is kind of cool. I always thought I always thought that was kind of the re the the retracting landing gear is much cooler than the folding down, right? I wonder, and then I don't know what this is. I don't know. I am confused, ladies and germs. I am confused about this. Now, the only thing that can be <coughs> is that this little engine part is the thing that actually fucking shoots the missile. That has to be the answer. And then this thing must just clip on somewhere. So let's see. Oh, okay. Let me get this little piece of tape off.
Everybody knows lack is live and unplugged, you know what I mean? Okay, so yeah, this engine piece that I thought, it's obviously, I can see the spring in it. This is gonna go in like so. And now it's in there, look. So now it's in there. Let me see. Wow, so now it's in there. Hmm. Hmm. And then this does what? This has a clip on it. Hmm. Ooh, that was a good one. I have no... Oh, it goes... Oh, I see! I see now! This thing is it's clearly on the fucking box. I wasn't... I wasn't even looking... This thing clips onto their fucking rifle. I'm sitting here thinking, oh, this fucker must shoot a laser at... No, it clips onto their gun. That's fucking lame, Hasbro. That's fucking lame. People talk about how Hasbro only recently has been doing lame shit. I'm like, this is pretty fucking lame. Mm, did I lose my blade? Did I lose my blade? I did but that's all right. I was gonna cut this because I didn't want to bend this little rubber piece. So yeah, that appears to be <clears throat> what is going on here. So this is supposed to clip on here, it looked like, or, okay, yeah, you shove it through. Look at this fucking goddamn atrocity fucking of a thing and then i guess to shoot it you just i don't even know what you're supposed to do i got it to shoot a second ago but it's just because i fucked with it that is weird look how tiny and spindly that gun is especially in the stock Fucking Hasbro was cheaping out on us for a long time, you guys. This is the figure that did not come in the pack, but it is the same figure. But yeah, look, this motherfucker is supposed to hold this in his hand. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, Hasbro. But I have to say this, Dylan. This is going to be fucking cool, the pair of them. Paint it up. Now, I've been painting the uh, Toklat Mercenary group stuff i've been doing the old caterpillar that's like the alaskan paint job i'll go ahead and grab one i'll go ahead and grab one this is a long video already might as well show you some other stuff i have I'm, a lot of people on the channel have seen these but it has been a while this of course is the rogue one cargo hauler cargo hauler any of y'all that's ever been in the fucking service or fucking, I don't know, worked on anywhere. You didn't have to be in the service, but like tanks have turrets and fucking their main fucking objective is to fucking blow the fuck out of shit. This thing in Rogue One, it's not a tank, right? It's a fucking cargo hauler. It hauls fucking cargo. It's a fucking flatbed fucking truck. It's not a tank. So whoever fucking decided that is fucking stupid. It's fucking, it's dumb. Have you never seen a fucking tank, you assholes? But anyway, so we I'm I got a I'm gonna do a, like a wire cage on the front here. I cut all that out. We got this cool caterpillar yellow and brown going on. I just always like that. <clears throat> the guy who taught me how to build boats and taught me how to build coffins, Ted Suckling, he's long been dead now, but a lot of his boats were painted like that. And then the last boat that he ever did was painted like that. And boy, it looks so good, these colors. And we, you know, we call, in Alaska we call it caterpillar, you know, caterpillar colors, but. And then so I can't remember what this vehicle is from. Drop it in the comments if you know, but this is our Toklat Mercenary Group ambulance. Uh, and I'm probably gonna customize this guy up a little bit, but you know, to me with all the white and everything he looked like he could be the doctor's assistant this is our 
<clears throat> oh, I just swallowed some of that coconut. This is our Toklat Mercenary Group Doctor. So this is a Duros. This is the Duros um, from the Cantina's body. Obviously, Greedo's head. And uh, some fucking droids build a droid arm. But I got that kind of idea from who was that when the, you know, the doctor with all the arms that saved whoever and whatever fucking show we just watched. But yeah, so the idea is I might not paint those bikes because they're supposed to be scout bikes. They should be maybe a little bit more camo, you know, but the Toklat Mercenary Group colors, at least of this run of vehicles, is the old Ninana Alaska Standby Caterpillar Brown and Caterpillar Yellow. I'd done some, uh, this kind of ran on me, you know, or I can't remember what it did. It wrinkled a little bit, so I sanded it, but then I said, oh, that actually doesn't look too bad. I, I will do something with that. You can see I have uh, washed it with some red, for that is supposed to be, <clears throat> this is supposed to be like the, the ambulance bed, right? This is like where the patient rides or whatever. So it would make sense that there would be, you know, blood and guts. Maybe he would go this way if you want to keep his shit elevated, you know? <clears throat> Could probably do to put some sort of medical devices or something and maybe even a, a medical droid on the back or something, you know, to help out. But this is the uh, Battlefield Ambulance. And I'm just showing those to... I'm just showing these to uh, remind everybody of the Toklat Mercenary Group. And uh, I'm going to do some... And that's what these are for. I have a uh, figure of Dylan right here. Here's our custom Dylan V, the Professor of Badass. That's his figure. And I think that he will maybe go on here without... I have a... I have a... Uh, <clears throat> I do have a figure. I think it's a Vader, but I'm going to need... I do like these... Um, uh, this is um, the gunner, the Death Star gunner body. Uh, but he could, he could stand to be put on a different body with articulating knees, so we can get his feet down on these pegs. Um, because the ones that, the figure that comes with it, see, he's got much longer legs, so they do sit on there a little bit better. So, but it's nothing to it. You know, we can take this head off and now this is a pegged, what do you call that? You know, this is a ball jointed head that I had to put on a 5PO bo 5POA body. So I drilled a hole out, removed the neck and everything from a cheer at Mway. And then so I could install that entire, the entire apparatus in there, you know, cause you, you know, it's just custom. You know what I'm talking about? You know how the heads are on these. They're just like the old barbell style, you know. And uh, But that one was a uh, ball joint, so I had to fix that. But yeah, super fucking cool. This piece fell off again, but that's all right. We'll get some super glue. I think I got a couple payments coming in from some people today, which will be nice. Because we've been working on bare bones here at the mothership, you guys. Mo uh, I, you know, that's why you haven't seen any pickups. If you haven't seen any pickups from me or anything. I do have a pickup I want to show. It's a present that I got for my son for Christmas. But it's I think it's really neat, and I thought everybody might want to see it. So look for that. Now, that's about the only pickup I've had. Dylan sent me this uh, box quite a while ago. And just with life and shit like that, you know, it's, now I was going to show you the background, but it looks like, oh, we can take it out, okay, I will, um, 
let's see, just for fun, I, I do want to show you all this background because I, I do like, let's see, this is made where you can take that out. What did I do with my blade? I set it down. I set it down and then what did I do with it? Where did I set it down? Who knows? But we have plenty of fucking blades in here. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Oh. Uh, uh. Shame! Look how sharp that motherfucker is, huh? Oh, I said that and then, then it didn't cut. Also from Dylan. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Let's see if we can't get this. Oh, there's another one right there. For those of you who are still with me, I appreciate your support. And uh, I appreciate your friendship and your kindness in the community. Uh, I... Hey, everybody needs to go go over to Sharon's Pops and Plants, okay? She's local. She lives up the road from me. She's a sweet old lady. Uh, Y'all probably seen her comments on my on my uh, channel. And uh, even if you're not into Pops, man, go over and say hi to her. Uh, and you know, just she's a sweet old lady. And it's. It always brings joy to be nice to people, doesn't it? I was trying to teach my son this weekend, you know, like... To be... Being mad and being angry is kind of a choice that you make. You know, and like a lot of his... Uh, the other people that are raising him now... They're very much into embracing anger and, and sadness, and so... You know, when I was a young kid, I didn't really know what that meant. Now, people will accuse me of not being able to handle my emotions, but I do pretty fucking good. But but it's very nice. It's easy to be nice to people, ain't it? Look at this background. Look at that background. Especially this foreground over here with the... Oh, that's very cool. Look, you can tell that this is like a real plastic tree. It might be hard to see on the thing, but... But yeah, not a bad background. I think that can be used for something. You know, if a guy can get this this little bit of tape off without ripping it or something. But yeah, I've always enjoyed backgrounds that come in toys, which when I was super young, I don't remember that being, you know, all the, the all that work was done on the front of the box, you know, to show how cool your toy could be, but But yeah, thanks Dylan. This is going to be cool. Um, it's put, I see plenty of screws that can come apart. So it's, you know, this shouldn't be too hard to take apart and I'll think of a paint scheme. You know, it, it, I, like I said, I, it may not be that yellow and brown only because these probably should be, you know, tactically your speeders should definitely be a little more camouflage, I think, you know, but yeah, cool, cool speeder bike. We do have now three clones. So we have two from this pack and the pre-existing one I showed you earlier, which I set somewhere again and don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. So I have a vision and I, I, I guess I'm gonna do it with these, these three and three quarter inch ones first, but I have a vision of a uh, display slash diorama that will include these three clones. I'm still kind of working out how it's going to be built and the layers and how I will accomplish some of the effects that I want to um, that I want to have in it. But and uh, I don't want to give any of it away. But hopefully we can get it done and with these three and three quarters, and then to uh, perfect it, we'll go to a, a black series and re recreate the the diorama or the scene in that scale. So, uh, Dylan also, uh, Dylan, you not only did me a great service in buying this and sending it to me for the bikes to customize for your figure, 
but the clones also will be put to good use in due time. So, um, so I appreciate that, brother. That's really, really cool. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to mention. I don't remember now because I've just been rambling. Um, but it should be cool. It should be cool. I think so. I hope everybody out there is having a wonderful day and a wonderful week and a Merry Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays, I guess. You know, if for some reason you're offended at Christmas. You know, I think, I think, uh, you know, a lot of hardcore Christian believers, the hardcore ones, you know, will explain that uh, Christmas does not fall on Jesus' actual birthday and that it is mostly, uh, you know, a pagan religion or pagan celebration because of the tree and and i'm just i'm not telling you that i believe this or anything i'm just i find it interesting that a lot of non-believers or whatever you want to call them agnostic or atheists are offended at christmas but yet hardcore believers and christians know that christmas has nothing to do with jesus and that they're kind of offended by it so why would anybody be offended by the motherfucker that's what i'm not understanding i, I don't get it uh, you know, I mean, if it's about putting up a tree and being nice to your neighbor and giving gifts, like, whether that's pagan or not, or what, you know, whatever, like, I think motherfuckers are just against being happy. That must be what it is. <laughs> They're just against having a good fucking time. I don't know. That's weird, huh? Um, you know, I, I, uh, there's a, was a small feud going on between... <laughs> Shadowversity and um, Matt Easton, and uh, and it had to do with like uh, Christian beliefs and stuff like that and everything. And then, you know, my only question was: is uh, if you don't hold the beliefs, if you don't believe in this set of beliefs, but and these set of beliefs say that there's something wrong with you and you're going to hell because you do those things, if you don't believe in it, what the fuck are you offended at? That's what I don't understand, right? It's just like fucking voodoo or fucking hooklani or any kind of fucking ma anything. You have to believe in it for it to be real. Okay? So if you if you're something and this other group of people say, "Oh, what you're doing is wrong," but you don't believe in their set of rules, then why are you fucking offended? That's what I want to know. Why are you fucking offended? I only got one feeling left, ladies and gentlemen, and that motherfucker don't get hurt, all right? And a lot of other motherfuckers in this country need to fucking cowboy up, you know? Stop worrying about everybody the fuck else and worry about your goddamn self is what lax has got to fucking say about it. Hey, I appreciate everybody. It's been a wild ride, and hopefully it will continue to be, all right? If there's anything I can do to help anybody in the community, I still have some boxes and shit to send out. I'm literally fucking broke 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 okay i put aside enough money i only get to see my fucking kids on the weekends and i know that i need x amount of money to make sure that they have all the fucking things that they want and the food that they eat because like lack don't eat the fucking food they eat you know what i'm saying uh, i eat fucking uh whatever the fuck i can get does from the yard and shit you know but so uh i mean hell I don't give a shit about myself enough to fucking do anything. You know what I mean? That's why I grew up in the fucking woods. I sleep in a goddamn snowbank like a fucking dog. I've done it. So, uh, you know, everything I do goes toward my loved ones. Uh, which, which extends to a lot of people in the community. So I appreciate y'all. And a lot of you have been there for me to talk to. And, and also a lot of people have been out there asking me for help and advice in their troubled time and there's no better feeling than being needed right so i appreciate that anabasi i'll see everybody on down the trail all right